Thousands of gallons of wastewater continue to overflow from a West El Paso manhole. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Morgan. And I'm Natasha Paloma. El Paso Water is working to divert the wastewater away from the public. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap joins us live near where the wastewater overflowed. And Shelby, our crew still out there working out there tonight. Natasha and Andy El Paso water crews are still out here late into this evening working on where they say 24,000 gallons of wastewater overflowed. If you take a look behind me, you can actually see there's a tractor still out here this evening. We just saw that tractor down where that wastewater was overflowing. He was working down there late tonight. Now El Paso water saying earlier today that they had not yet found the blockage that had caused this wastewater to overflow. That was caused by a blockage, a blockage of white piece and rags, which we are yet to uh, determine where it's located and, and able to remove it. El Paso Water sharing this map of where the wastewater is overflowing, saying the initial overflow happened at Manhole 1. And in order to stop the wastewater from flowing downstream, crews plugged Manhole 2 so that the overflow would be diverted into the dam and away from the public. But EP Water does say that out of the 24,000 gallons that overflowed, more than 2,000 gallons did flow into the Rio Grande. Right now we are currently uh, using groundwater to, to meet our demands and the river is completely dry and so there's no impact to our, our ability to, to meet that demand with groundwater. The amount of wastewater overflowing concerning some in the area. I don't feel good. Uh, I, I, I'm thinking that it might be a problem. El Paso Water says customers water is not impacted but to stay away from the area. Oh there's no impact to our customers. There's no impact to our potable water source. Um, but we are asking people to refrain from this area um, just because there's active wastewater. Now, El Paso Water does say that they contacted the Texas Commission of Environmental Quality after the thousands of gallons of wastewater did overflow here. Now, they do say they will continue to work throughout the weekend, hoping to have this fixed by Monday. Reporting live from West El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.